So if you have an assignment where you need to draw a supply and demand graph, here are two easy ways to do this using Google Docs drawing tools. These two links here, the top one has a graph with some graphing tools with a numeric grid in case you want to be able to read numbers when you're graphing precise equations of lines. And the one on the bottom, graph minus grid, is a graph similarly, but it just doesn't have that numeric grid there. Let's click these links, have a look, see what happens. So Google's going to ask you to sign into your account here. And if you don't have one, you can click it to create an account. After you log in, it's going to ask you, would you like to make a copy of Economics Graph Template No Grid? Just say yes, make a copy. And this will make your own personal copy that you can edit and save in your account. So this is the version with no grid. Let me show you the version with the grid real quickly. So before we get started with graphing supply and demand, let's label our axes. Remember on the vertical axis, this is going to be where our price goes. On our horizontal axis, we want to put quantity. And most of the time in economics, this is what we're going to see on the axes, but not always. So go ahead and label them. And down here in the explanation, let me type a couple of equations if we wanted to graph a supply and demand lines. So let's suppose our demand equation is P equals 12 minus Q. The slope is just minus one there. And let's suppose that the supply curve is P equals three plus 0 0.5 or one half Q. Let's go ahead and graph those real quickly. So we can just grab a downward sloping blue line over here. The y-intercept is going to be 12, so I'll try to set the top at 0, 12 here, and I'll just drag this line. And if we're going over one, down one, we're going to end up with our x, or our quantity intercept, being down here at price equals 0, quantity equals 12. Now our supply curve will have a positive slope, so let me drag the positively sloped line here. Our y-intercept is at 3. And it's got a slope of one half. So we want this line to go up one over two, up one over two, up one over two. So let's see, it looks like we've got it there. Up one over two, up one over two, up one over two. All right, looks good. Now, again, we probably would want to label these as well. So we could grab one of these labels over here and drag it over. And then just click in there to change it. So we'll label this with an S for our supply. And then you can also click this box and hit Control C on a PC and Control V to paste it. Or you could use the Edit, Copy, and Paste menu over here. And let's label our demand curve as well. And we could label our equilibrium if we want. Let's see. So just play around dragging and clicking these tools. So it looks like our equilibrium price and quantity would be price of about $6, quantity about six units here. And suppose you had a question where you were asked to show an increase in demand. So here's our scenario that people's incomes increase. in a state or in a nation, and we're talking about a normal good, one where demand increases as incomes increase, then we'd want to show an increase in demand. So then we could maybe grab the red demand curve over here to show an increase in demand. An increase in demand is a shift to the right towards higher quantities. And maybe we're not given exactly what the new equation is going to be. We just want to show in general an increase in demand. Then we can just draw a line anywhere to the right for an increase in demand. Again, we might want to label that. So we could drag either of these labels over there. And we could label this new demand. And drag and resize it to where it looks good all right 
And we could label the new equilibrium price and quantity here as well. So this tool is pretty easy to work with. And we could also, if we wanted to make sure that it was really clear what was going on, we could drag a little arrow over here and resize it a little bit to show that the demand curve is indeed moving to the right there. And then down here in the explanation box, we might want to type a little explanation about what happened. In this case, I would say when incomes increase for a normal good, demand for the good increases. And then what is our prediction going to be for the equilibrium price? It's going to be a higher amount. Equilibrium quantity, a higher amount. So we would say equilibrium price and quantity increase. Now, after you're done making changes to your graph here, you want to probably download it. Google will automatically save the changes that you made in your Google Drive account. But if you want to turn this in, print it out, or include it in another kind of document, Go over here to the file menu up top left and download. This gives you the option to download it as a PDF, JPEG, PNG, which is just another kind of image file, or SVG, which is another kind of image file. Probably JPEG, PNG is fine, but ask your professor what you would need to do to submit it in the format that they would like. Let's save it as a JPEG file. And there's what it looks like on my computer. A little bit blurry. Let's try a PDF. At least on my computer, the PDF is saving in much, much better quality. So I might recommend that you use this format unless you have a specific use case where an image file would be much better for you.